Hello and welcome back. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. We're playing some more of our campaign in EU4. This is the, uh, what do you call it? Schizophrenic Sovereignty campaign. So I guess we're going to let them relocate and then we'll go relieve that siege. Unfortunately, Liberated Province doesn't like stack. So all we're really doing is resetting it. But, you know, whatever. Castile is our primary defender um, against France and Gascony. So we should keep on making sure he theoretically survives. Even though we fought his rebels for him twice, one time with them directly adjacent, and they weren't actually doing anything, and yet they wouldn't assist. Now, if we were allies in a war, then he would have totally joined in, for sure. We already have claims on Gascony, right? Yeah. We should have a claim on France. Get a claim on France. I want to make sure that AI... Um... AI Armagnier does not decide to become France's little... little bee. <laughs> it's very important to me. Alright, another idea. Sounds good. Yearly Prestige, plus one. And we also now have Tolerance of the True Faith, plus two. We are, like, super tolerant. We have eight unrest in Catholic provinces, which is just pretty good. Tell, us, tell me that we're there first. We're there first. You're gonna make a separate attrition, aren't you? 28 supply. I guess we should be okay. Sure. At least the um, noble rebels are suffering attrition. In theory. They could eventually... Maybe run out of manpower? It's rare, but I've, I've seen it happen. There it is. There it is. Look at that. Devastation, apparently, if the devastation is below one, then they don't care, and they just let it tick down over time, which seems odd. It's just one more month he could have left the fort on, it would be gone. That might be a bug. Like, I really think they should let it tick the one, one extra month. Man, it's gonna take him how long? 0.82 divided by 0.08. That's an extra year, an extra 11 months of being devastated that he could have avoided. Okay, so we arrive on the 4th of March, and we are definitely doing this war. France, or, he has, he has no allies. Let's do it. Let's make something interesting happen. I promise you territory, Castile. I promise it to you. And maybe now we can finally get that stupid rebel stack taken care of, because he'll actually properly attach to something. So all I'm gonna do is, um... We're gonna sit here. We're gonna siege this thing out. And then we're going to go down there, and we're going to try to get Castile to attach to us and go fight that army. Hey, Castile has decided to give us three ducats a month. Sick. Our queen consort just died. Looks like Aragon's army is unfortunately down in Lermo, Messina, Syracuse. But they should be able to get over here pretty quick. They should have enough ships. Ooh, no transports there. But 12. He's got 12 transports. That's plenty. Okay. The board has fallen. We're going to hold on to that for now ourselves. We'll use, use the money that he gave us. So, so far... <laughs> so far, we, we have less participation, even though we are the ones that did the siege. I'm guessing that, uh, what, the blockade that he had in place? No one should be earning any participation right now. But we are going to go attack this army. And now that we are at war... Okay, if Castile doesn't help me in this battle, then <sighs> I'm going to be so pissed. It's a defensive war in a mountain fort. Sorry, defensive battle in a mountain fort directly adjacent to him. We're at war. I have it indicated that you should attach to me. Like, what more could I could could we ask for? Oh, right, the naval battles. That's gonna be a big part of what he gets participation from. And it's not even that he's getting a ton of participation, really. It's more that I'm not getting any participation. So we need the English troops to land. No no no, no no no. Where are you going? I'm still going to go for it. I really think that Castile's going to come and, and help out with this battle. This won't earn us any participation in the battle. The war. Actually, come to think of it, it might. Alright, you're going the wrong way, buddy. There he goes. Okay, so we got we to gotta tank this for a few days, but whatever. Here comes Castile. He'll be on the third. And let's just check. I don't think we're earning participation for this. 
Yep. Battle, the, the losses aren't in the, in the proper battle. It makes sense that we're not. Like, we shouldn't be. Right? But... Meanwhile, he's somehow managing to beat the English Navy? Are you serious? Without any heavies? I, how, how do they do that? What is going on here? The fl flickering. So he's got 96% presentation now, which means that he's going to expect us to give the province. Oh, we have to. We can't, we can't get rid of Castile as an ally. So I guess with that in mind, let's just let him pay for it. And we'll go loot the crap out of it. This also allows me to take a look at the peace deal. So if I were to give Castile that one province, how much how many favors do we get? One. Just the one. See, we need more <laughs> we need more damn participation. I need to actually kill some English armies. I did the math on it and this edict makes no sense to even have on. I still don't think they did, they they really the, the paradox really did a lot of planning. Like, if I turn the edict on, I calculated that the increased maintenance cost will make it take me X number of months, and it'll end up costing me like twenty two ducats or something. Or I could just embrace the institution right now for thirty six. Um, but the the opportunity cost is that by putting the edict on, I'm missing out on all of the other possible edicts, and also. The, the, the benefits are so small relative to just not having any edict and just getting it in a little bit more time, but the edict just doesn't ever make sense. They just, they're not strong enough. I think the edicts need to be a little bit stronger. Or, or cheaper. If they were cheaper, it's the same thing as them being stronger. Whatever. So part of the reason that we're doing this, even though it doesn't directly benefit us, notice how, again, Castile is not rivaled to France. Well, do you think that France and Castile might suddenly decide to hate each other if we give Castile a French core and give them a physical adjacency to each other? Because I think they will. Fort Defense Advisor or Improved Fortifications in our capital. Let's take the permanent fortifications because we can't really afford advisors. And we could right now. Um, might take the one. Truce declared war on Cologne. Okay, so our ally is going into an offensive war against another elector. Um, that's fine. This is even worse now. Crap. So, Castile is going to continuously earn uh, participation from the blockades. At least they should. I think on the monthly tick, they're going to go from like 31.7 up to like 31.8. Every month that goes by, they're just going to gain more and more participation. It means we're not going to get any favors. Nope, I was wrong. Apparently that blockade didn't count. Either that, or he stopped blockading it, or the blockade is not on a fort. I think blockades to forts are all that matter. Hold on. He was blockading Hull, Lincolnshire, Norfolk. Yeah, there's no fort. Apparently, Portugal is trying to get a union. He's trying to get a twofer. A union over Castile and Aragon. So, Castile, on Monarch Death, it's definitely going to go to Portugal. The Andrada dynasty. I mean, Portugal's got way more development than we do. It's not even not even worth considering what would happen. Actually, they're already the same dynasty. The, I think the only reason right now that um, there wouldn't be a succession war is because we're at war. We're actually protecting Castile. We finally got rid of that rebel stack for him, so maybe he'll do a little bit better. I sure hope that England gets naval control. I'm going to ask for access from France. Even though it's going to cost us diplo points. Because I I want England to try to land troops. I would rather that they land troops and the war goes faster. Add spy strength. Add to the size of spy strength in Gascony. Or just gain dip. It sounds better. Hey, look at that. We can almost get um, another click in. We generate a lot of papal influence. The stability costs 100, but getting to 3 would be nice.
Okay, can we revoke from the bur from the nobles? They can just be upset for a while. We're at 11 force limit, but what really? What are we really at? We're at 2.3 plus 3.3 plus base 6. 11.6. Four more clicks of development and we can actually have another troop. Might be nice. Poland has declared war upon Hungary. Ooh. Hungary is not allied to Austria. What does that war look like? Poland versus Hungary. Naples is independent. Oh, I missed that. Or I just kind of hadn't realized that recently. Alright, we can we can cancel military access, which means there's no English troops in France. I'm just gonna fabricate one claim on France. So yeah, not much is really going on. We got our ticking war score. Um, England's the only he only has eight transports. Let's get off the war goal. See if we can convince him to come land. I've already looted the crap out of it, so. Like, relative strength of the navies, he he should still be able to land troops if he wants to. And if he wants to come drop an eight stack right there on the board, the war goal. Then I will gladly fight it. Heads up. Poland has declined Muscovy's request to enforce peace. So suddenly Poland is now fighting Muscovy as well. Hello, Russia. <laughs> Tech 10 Russia versus uh, Tech 10 and Tech 9 Lithuania. Interesting. Well, hmm. We're not going to get the favors that I wanted. But I still think that setting... Castile and France up to be enemies. Allying ourselves with Castile and trying to stay away is going to keep us independent longer. But honestly, I think at this rate, we're probably just going to get absorbed by Castile. But I guess I'd rather have that happen than have France just eat us up, because that's boring. I would rather that Castile and France fight for all of eternity, and uh, it would be interesting. Negative 20 reasons for peace. What's kind of stupid is that we actually, we get the same amount of favors for a white peace. <laughs> what? What? Tupanamba, the nobles seize power, excuse me? How did you mismanage your estates so much? What? The estates don't even have any provinces. Oh, those edicts. Um... He left these in charge of the nobles, and he just allowed the nobles to seize power. What? What the hell, Tupanamba? You are mismanaging that country. Clearly, I was milking monarch points, and you were supposed to cancel one of those. Obviously. I bet you they have, like, really simple code that just says, um, if you... They, they won't revoke a province if it would make a sub, a, uh, an estate disloyal. And so they were afraid to just like revoke one province to avoid the disaster when they really should have. Nice. Tia is conquering Mexico. Nice. They're really far behind on tech though. Oh, we should totally intentionally colonize adjacent to them to give them technology. No, no, no. That would be playing favorites. That's not allowed. All right. So we need to end this war before we're out of time so that we can get Castile to establish... France, hopefully, as a rival. Hopefully, Hungary ceases to be a valid rival somehow. I don't know. Or something. They have such strange rivals set up right now. Oh, great. Our heir is a naive enthusiast. It's, it's, it's good. It's what I like to see. All right, I think I'm actually going to go back to giving the burgers that province. Get them loyal again for a moment. Let's turn on the development edict. 
And let's do a few more of these clicks. Even though it's gonna have issues with the uh, the autonomy for now. Let's do Baron. That should bring us up. 3.4 and 2. Point. It's not enough, is it? 2.4 plus 2.25 plus the base 6 puts us at 11.65. But once we revoke this from the burgers again, this will actually be at 3. 2 from the development and 1 from the regimental camp. So we'll gain 0.75 force limit. That'll take us up to 12. Look at that! I've increased the force limit of Armanier. A two province minor by 50% and it's only taken me eight years <laughs> this is not very good but anyway yeah uh, for whatever reason we actually still gain the exact same amount of favors if we just white piece as if we give him this province so that's kind of silly How great would it be if we could get war reps from England? English income is what? 40 ducats a month. So we could get 4 ducats times 120 months. It's 500 ducats we could milk from, from England for 10 war score. So if his enthusiasm starts to drop, maybe. He thinks that our, our, uh, our army is stronger. And he's right. Let's hide at least two or three provinces away from the war goal. Maybe then he'll come try to land. He might be able to... He, you can always see adjacent to your own land, even if it's occupied by enemies, so... He can... Probably... See my army and he... He's pretending... They, they like to pretend like they don't know where your army is, but they always know where your army is. They're the freaking AI. But, let's put him two provinces away in the fog of war so that he has to... Quote unquote, pretend... That he doesn't know where my army is, and maybe he'll come try to land. Or maybe, who knows, maybe like Aragon, out of the blue, out of, out of nowhere, will just randomly land troops in Northern Ireland or something, and suddenly we just start to gain more war score. That'd be kind of funny too. Blown seeds Coln to Trier, Nassau seeds Nassau to Trier, Q, Q Austria being upset. Make him give stuff back. I'm gonna do it. Here's medium enthusiasm. Alsace just got full annexed. No. Alsace accepted peace with Lorraine. Yes, Alsace got full annexed. And now they exist again. Right? Did I read that right? I don't read the whole thing. All I know is that there are words that pop up on these little squares sometimes in my vision, and they're annoying. They constantly make me have to pay attention to them. So, if I wanted the province... Oh, will, will Cassila even let me do this? It'll cost me the favor. <laughs> the one favor. Are you kidding me? Oh, okay, okay. Oh, never mind. <laughs> He's loyal to the Papal State. I thought that was us. I thought that we somehow randomly got lucky and picked up the thing, which would have been funny. But it didn't happen, so it's not funny. Bum -ba -dum -bum -bum. There's nothing to do. I knew we could win this war, but... This might also spur... Nice, yes. Castile wants land from France. Okay, so we could actually call him in on a promise of territory with France now. The only problem is that uh, the only land that that uh, we could possibly take from France is the one that he wants. But I don't care. We'll, we'll give him that and we'll take land from Gascony. We'll co-belligerent Gascony and we'll take land from Gascony for ourselves. Let's go ahead and indicate that we really want that land. And if I can peace out with England and... Um, Declare this next war before we stop playing this country. I think that's a pretty good spot to leave this country in. 
Armanier is making gains. You know what we should do is get just a couple more clicks of development. Get that force limit up right now. Train the troop to make England even scared er of us. Scared er. You scared yet? Are you scared yet? Because you should be. Look at these troops. Look at this. 17 enthusiasm, relative strength of the alliance, negative 8. I'm training another troop though, so just you wait. <laughs> Watch negative 8 become negative 9 or something. Talk about min-maxing a weak country, right? You can embrace an institution for a ducat. Sounds good. What was that institution? What did it actually give us? That was colonialism, provincial trade power plus 10%. Fair enough. Alright, relative strength of the alliance was at 8, now it's at 7. What? What? It's lower now? That doesn't make sense. Oh, interesting. The nation of- Oh, this ruins everything! Damn! There's a defensive war that we have to honor, and it's going to make it so that I can't declare an offensive war with Castile joining me against France. Damn! Requesting that you come to their aid in the Savoyard conquest of Cremona against Savoy. This is a defensive war. Savoy's allied with Austria, Genoa, and Lucca. Okay, let's let's wait at least until August 1st. I want to see if Savoy's calling Austria in. No, I... No, no. No, just screw it. We're not gonna do it. We're not getting pulled into that. We're doing our own war. It's gonna be a good war. We're gonna we gotta we gotta think about the future of this country here. Okay? Let's cancel access through France. Oh we've already he's already canceled it. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, and I'm also gonna build a castle in our capital. I just think that that's a good idea. Okay, um, Do we have time to try to get this war reps? 480 ducats seems like a lot of monies. What am I looking for right now? Um, oh, I'm looking for the disaster to see how much time we have. May 1st of 40. So we have less than a year. Will England suddenly want to peace out in less than a year? I think yes, we're gaining, in 9 months we should gain 3 war score total, right? Because we get 0.4 every month. It's weird math, but yeah, I think we have time. Half-price level 2 missionary, half-price guy here. Um, we could really use the prestige. We're very, very low on prestige right now. Let's take a level 1 advisor. That seems fine. Alright, cool. I'm going to take a break here. Next episode, we're going to hopefully wrap this war up and start playing a new country. And we'll take a look around the world a little bit, see how Chagatai is doing. Um, I think he's going to agree to giving us some cash here in a second. We're not going to take any direct money because it just all goes to Castile. Um, if I take 1170 ducats, Arminier gets how much? 23. <laughs> it's not very good. Not a good deal. We want the war ups. So, cool. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next episode. As always, thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.